Okay, generate higher quality leads ready to buy using this simple system. Now, this video is gonna be perfect for service-based businesses, agency owners, coaches, consultants, looking for higher quality leads, build an automated lead gen, lead management system, and to make more money from every single lead. Now, it's not just about generating more leads. It is about working the ones that you do already have and trying to make more money from them. Now, I've broken this down into five simple steps that we'll be going over today. And these five steps have allowed me to generate over $5 million online. You can see here we generated around 2.7 million dollars in under six months with this one business following these exact five steps and that was low ticket these steps have allowed me to travel the world they allow me to live in remote places and work remotely because the businesses that we have set up are running on systems now these five steps also allow us to book a ton of qualified calls every single week for our businesses so we are getting high on our own supply we've got coaching clients that are using these five steps to not only automatically qualify every single lead that they generate on autopilot with ai but also automate the entire buying process for their coaching offer too and we work with monster brand in the UK, some of the biggest names in the media world, and we are their trusted partner to help them with their digital campaigns focused around generating leads and managing leads. So look, most of you watching this already have a business. You have an agency, you have a coaching offer. Maybe you're a gas engineer or you're an electrician and you're generating leads, but you're struggling to know the best steps to then manage those leads to actually make money from them. Now, this system is broken down into five steps. Number one is collecting your leads. Two is qualifying your leads. Three is educating your leads. Four is asking your leads. And five is selling your leads. Now I'm not talking about selling your leads to the black market, but let's jump into these different five steps now. So number one, collecting your leads. What does that look like? Well, we need to look at three things. We need to look at where, what, and how. Where is, where are these leads coming from and what does that user journey look like? Now don't worry if you don't know what a user journey is, we will get into that. Now what is, what is it you're offering? How have you positioned that offer? And what pain are you actually solving for your specific client? How is how are you collecting these leads? What is your funnel process and your funnel steps? And what should be your goal when you are driving these leads in the first place? Now, these all may sound very simple, but I promise you, if one of these things is misaligned or missing, nothing's gonna work. So let's start with one, where? Now for us, it's very clear. We generate our leads online using Instagram, LinkedIn, YouTube, creating content, running ads, and we send them to a landing page, which we then move them through a sales process where they get sent emails, SMS, WhatsApp messages, in the hope that they then join our school community or sign up to our services. So that's where our leads are coming from. We've identified the sources, we've identified the channels that we get the highest leverage and the highest ROI on, and those are our core focus. Now, when it comes to mapping your user journey, you need to do this. So we do this on Figma. And what we do is we map out this user journey of what happens when a lead comes from this specific platform and moves to a specific landing page. What is our core goal? And what it allows us to do is to step back and have a bird's eye view on all of these leads. We then use this mirror board or Figma board as a blueprint where we can then build out from there. So for example, this is a really rough overview of what our user journey looks like when we are signing people up to our school community. You know, our goal is to send them through these different channels, send them to the school community, use the questions inside of our school community to further qualify them and segment them. And then based on how much money um, these business owners are earning every month, they will get sent to a different product inside of our sales process and this is all done inside of figma first before we go and build anything out because it gives us that bird's eye view so i highly recommend you start mapping out everything and building out these user journeys just so you can visually plan and see what it is you need to do and how to best structure your entire business when it comes to generating leads so number two is what what is it we're selling what is our offer and in what way are we selling that to these leads so what we need to do is we need to focus on the outcome and results that your client actually cares about we are here to fix their pain if you look at an accountant what do they care about they care about booking more appointments they care about getting new clients they probably care about uh, providing a higher quality of customer support to the current clients that they have you know, a lot of people are asking questions to accountants and taking up a ton of time. So that's definitely something they care about. It's a big pain point. And they probably care about automating some of these processes too. Now, the reason why it's so important that we know exactly what the pain point is for the demographic of client that we want to work with and what our target avatar is actually going through and what they need is that allows us to create this key messaging and this key messaging basically feeds everything in terms of our funnel and any of the lead generation activities that we do. Now, one little trick that I was taught from a friend, Ed at Film Booth, who is a monster when it comes to YouTube and converting leads from video traffic and organically online, he talks about a Ben system. Now, when it comes to writing and structuring your offer, you need to be following this Ben system. And Ben's stands for this. So big in our case could be 200 appointments. That's a big claim. Easy is it's done in 30 days. You know, whatever we're offering can be completed in such a short time frame, which makes it look easy. New, 
you know, words like AI and secret. This portrays this idea of whatever it is you're offering is new to the market. No one else is doing it. So for example, this is our headline on the unorthodox site right now. Generate three times more leads and fill your calendar with hundreds of qualified appointments using our AI sales system. So big claim up front, we generate three times more leads. We're also gonna fill your calendar with hundreds of qualified appointments because we know that that is what our avatar of client want. And we are gonna do that using our AI sales system, which sounds new, fresh, and something that they've never seen before. So a really simple format to follow using this Ben system. Once you understand who you're selling to, what their pain points are is, we will do X by implementing our X system within X amount of days, maybe it's 30 days. And this is obviously needed because it's gonna help you generate those leads because when they land on your landing page, they know exactly what you do and why you're the best fit for them. Now, number three is how, now this is obviously gonna look very different depending on your business. Like I said, we drive a lot of our traffic to the school community and the individual landing pages for the businesses that we run, like Unorthodox. So our attention is from the content that we're producing, we're driving them to a landing page, and then the goal is to then put a CTA in front of them, like book a call, schedule an appointment, and if they're inside of the school community, it's booking in for a welcome call where we can then introduce them to our ecosystem and uh, add them to different email lists and that kind of thing. So for you, it will probably look something similar. You have an opt-in of some kind, you have a lead magnet that you're giving away for free, some form of free value, into a VSL page where you can then show proof and show examples of how you've helped other clients and how you can help them. And then going into a seat where they can then schedule in for a call with you and find out a little bit deeper about the services that you offer. Now, an example of this lead magnet is this growth system guide that I put together. Now, the thing about a lead magnet is it needs to provide a ton of free value and it also needs to be easy to deliver. If this takes you an hour to do for every single lead that you generate, then it's not gonna be scalable and it's not going to work. So putting together lead magnets in some form of free training, some form of free guide, some form of free community even is a great way for you to do it at mass scale without it taking up too much of your time. Now, when it comes to the actual opt-in itself, we wanna be collecting name, email, phone number on a very, very basic level. And this allows us to actually start owning our leads rather than just sending people to a landing page and hoping that they book in for a call. We're actually offering this lead magnet up front so that when they do submit their information, we can use that information, use those contact details to add them to email campaigns or SMS campaigns where we can then keep them inside of our ecosystem and hopefully get them to book in a call maybe one to two days later if they don't already go and book in a call after they submit for this free lead magnet. So you can see on our main website at Unorthodox, we have a headline which uses that Ben system. We then have a video sales letter that gives more information and talks to the pain points of our target avatar. And then we have a really simple CTA, which is obviously book in a call and we will demo exactly what it is we do and how it can help you. Now your call to action could look very different. It could be book a call, it could be join a community, it could be fill in a form or fill in a questionnaire. But the main thing you need to focus on is it needs to be seamless, it needs to be easy to do, and it needs to give you an opportunity to further qualify these leads. So that leads me perfectly onto step number two of this system, which is qualifying your leads. Once you start generating all these leads, it's great. And if you get that system down and you understand what you're doing, the next problem is going to be qualifying them because you're going to get a lot of people that are just tie kickers and a complete waste of time and ultimately are never going to buy from you. So this system is going to show you exactly what you need to do to then start qualifying these leads so you can make money from every single lead that you do generate. Now we do this in three ways. We do this pre, post, and live. Our goal here is not only to qualify, but we also want to disqualify. So we want to disqualify early and we want to qualify as much as we can so that we have leverage on every single sales call that we have. Now pre means qualifying pre-booking. So this can be done through forms, it's done through our website, it's done through our VSL, and it's also done in the ads that we run too. If you have a form on your website, or you have a form on the calendar that you have, keep it short, four to six questions. Don't make it too long. If you go to like 15 questions in a type form, chances are you're actually gonna deter qualified leads as well. So we wanna keep it easy. And the way we keep it easy as well is to have these really minimal for easy to fill out answers that gives a ton of data on the back end. So radio buttons or pre-filled stuff where they can just click the button that is most relevant to them. This is the best way to set up your forms because not only is it gonna give you that qualification data, but it's going to ensure that leads don't get deterred from long lengthy forms. Now pre-qualifying is also done on your main landing page, right? So your VSL should clearly outline who it is you help. Your headlines, your sales copy, this is all catered towards your demographic of client and your target avatar. So everything you write should not only be telling people about what they obtain from actually working with you, but it should also be disqualifying people and putting people off that aren't gonna be a good fit. And again, in any ads that you're running, you can obviously disqualify people 
by being specific in your ad copy or the ad itself, even in the demographic of targeting. So this part's pretty easy. Now, when it comes to post qualification, you could be using AI agents, you could be using follow up campaigns, you could be using questionnaires. These are all great ways for you to further qualify that lead once they've submitted their details. The goal here is we want to qualify every single step of the way so that when that sales call actually happens, we have the highest chance of actually converting them and we're not speaking to disqualified people and people that are ultimately never going to buy from us. So the way that we do this with our businesses and our clients is we build AI agents that speak on WhatsApp or SMS once the lead has been submitted. So you can actually see a conversation here that is actually like 20 messages long, but this happens instantly as soon as a lead is basically submitted into our CRM and our pipeline. This AI agent reaches out on our behalf. It asks them qualification questions. It goes through like a set criteria of what we need to know and collects that data. And then it actually marks every single lead on a scale of one to 10 based on how qualified they are once they've had this chat through this sort of back and forth on text. Now, this is actually a really engaging way for you to speak with every lead that you generate too. And this is something that your competition is definitely not doing. So if you can get onto this, I highly recommend it because not only are you gonna be able to book way more calls, but you're also gonna be able to supercharge your lead qualification. AI agents are gonna be everywhere in the next 12 months. So using them to engage with your leads is an absolute no brainer. Right now we're seeing three times more leads actually converted into booked calls. We're seeing 97% qualification rate and we are getting a 32% increase in total conversions with the clients that we're working with from these book calls that this AI agent is managing and dealing with by itself. So the numbers are just ridiculous. The process is a lead is generated, the AI agent qualifies, the lead then books an appointment through that qualification agent. The lead's given a score from one to 10, like I said, and there are then auto follow-ups, pipeline updated, and then the deal was closed, hopefully, when we actually had that sales call. Now, what you also wanna be doing to further qualify every single lead is adding them to pipelines and different workflows within your CRM. So if you don't have a CRM and you don't have these automations set up, what are you doing? Because this is by far the easiest way. When someone comes through and they submit their information, sending them follow-ups on emails and SMS and getting them to fill in questionnaires or segmenting them based on the form submissions that they gave you is a great way for you to just instantly see who is qualified and who is not. So for example, this screenshot is from our school automation. When someone is earning five to 10K, they get added to a different segment compared to someone who's earning less than 5K because we know that this client is now someone that we could work with inside of our agency. Therefore, we're now gonna send them a different series of emails and a different welcome flow based on that qualification that we already have from them through the form that they filled out. Now, when it comes to live qualification, this is just qualifying on a discovery call or a team that actively calls every single lead that is generated. Maybe you've got a team of appointment setters that sit there inside of your CRM and pipeline and call every single lead that submit their details. Don't really have to go into this one. You know, on a sales call, of course, you're going to qualify people. You're going to see what their pain points are, how you can help them. But hopefully you've done a good enough job up front with the pre and post in qualifying them so that you don't have to do too much live qualification. But this is the final step and the last result. The goal is, like I said, we want to disqualify early and qualify as much as you can so that we have leverage on sales calls and we don't waste our time. And there is power in not working with everyone and being very clear with that upfront in your marketing. This is actually gonna be a massive benefit for you. If you say you work with everyone, it means that you probably can't help anyone. So if you're very clear in your messaging, and you say, we only work with plumbers that are earning X amount of money in this specific area, then me as a plumber who's earning that amount of money in that specific area knows that you are probably the best fit for me because that's all you focus on and do. So that moves us on to step number three. And if you're still with me, amazing. Hopefully this uh, is helping you guys so far, but this is about educating your lead. This step is always overlooked. And the best part is it's super easy to set up and have running. And it probably has the highest ROI of any of these steps that I'm about to talk about today. Now there's multiple ways we can educate our leads. We could educate our leads through the content that we produce, email workflows, uh, communities, guides, all of that stuff. And the reason why we want to educate our leads is because this gives every single lead that we generate proof that we are the best fit for them. It's further self-qualification. You know, they get to actually determine whether or not we are actually going to be a good fit for them. And it builds trust. And that is something that your competition can't take away from you. So me creating these videos online and building trust with you guys, hopefully showing you that we actually do know what we're talking about and giving you proof of the clients we're working with and what we're doing for our own businesses. That's trust that is invaluable. You can't get that from someone else who's just running ads. So educating your leads and being there as a source of value for them is an absolute game changer if you can get it right. Like I said, we've been posting on this channel for three years now, free content. 
just giving you as much as we can, giving it all away for free, trying to educate you on how to build a smarter business and how to use AI to supercharge your business. And this channel is a great source of leads for our agency. And when we jump on these sales schools, because we've educated them so much with the content that we've produced, the sale is much, much easier compared to if it's cold traffic, like running an ad. Now, if you aren't creating content, obviously there are still ways for you to educate leads. And this process is a little bit more manual to set up, but once it's running, it is completely automated. Now, a great way is sending out email campaigns. So again, we're collecting that lead up front. We're collecting their name, their email, and their phone number. We can add them to these automated email welcome campaigns that you should already probably have up and running. But this gives you a little bit of a structure. If you wanna send five emails over the course of like 10 days, once a lead submits their details, your first email is gonna to wanna to relate to them, you know, call out their pain points again, show them what you know about them and why you're a good fit. The second email is a bit more information on you, your business, what your experience is. Number three is what is it you actually do? You know, what's your core value add to these clients? Your fourth email is how do you actually do it? What are those steps? What does that look like? And then your fifth is obviously asking for that sale. It's that CTA, it's, hey, look, you've seen all this value over the last 10 days go and book in a call with us now and we can have a chat. Now this doesn't just end there. This is just a very, very basic way to educate your leads that you are generating. This email campaign could be 100 emails long. It could never end until someone unsubscribes. But as long as these emails are packed with value, they speak to the pain points of your avatar of client, this is going to be very, very beneficial for your business to have up and running alongside everything that you do because it's just an easy way for you to just give more information about your business in bite-sized chunks every single day to the leads that you're generating. Now I mentioned communities. We have a school community called The Network. Now, inside of this community, we give away free courses, free guides. It's a free community that you can engage with other entrepreneurs. You can get free access to free webinars and masterclasses. And again, we are just educating you more and more and more, not only on what your business could be doing, but what your business is actually missing out on by not acting on what it is we actually build for you. Watch that bit again, make sure it makes sense to you. But this school community is basically a place for us to nurture leads and educate them and then actually position our offer to be that gap to take them from this point where they've realized there's a lot of work that goes into it, but we can actually do it all for them in a completely done for you offer inside of our agency, Unorthodox. So a community is a really, really good way to educate your leads. It is a little bit more hands-on, but I do recommend paying it some attention. Now, this isn't gonna be for everyone because you're not gonna get a community filled with chefs that are trying to generate leads for their restaurant. And you're not gonna get a community probably filled with accountants or law firms that are interested in scaling their business online. But if you're working in the digital space, maybe you're working with coaches, consultants, maybe you're working with e-commerce brands, this is a great way to do it. These brands are used to working online. They're used to being in forums and different groups about different things. So if you're working with those sort of clients, see if the community makes sense. It's not gonna be right for everyone, but it is a great place to educate your leads. And at the end of the day, if you have a community, you now own your audience. So remarketing to them is really simple. It's easy and it costs nothing. You can make announcements to thousands of people that are inside of your community every single day without having to spend a penny. Now, the key when it comes to educating your leads is to move every lead through this journey within your business. So different workflows and automations that handle this entire process for you and make it really simple to set up. If educating your leads is a manual thing that you have to do every single time a lead comes through, it's never gonna work. And so build these workflows and these automated systems that allow you to do it on autopilot every single time. Now, one final thing is as well, these AI agents that we use inside of our business and our clients' businesses, these are also great for educating your leads. They give them access to a live agent that can answer questions and provide more support ongoing during that process on whether they're deciding or whether or not to book a call or whether they're waiting for their call to happen, they may have questions and they can use this AI agent to get the answers to the questions that they have. Now, this moves us on to number four, which is asking your leads. Now, what does asking your leads mean? It means asking your leads to actually buy from you. You know, book a call, buy now, join here. These are your call to actions. And a lot of people miss this because number one, they don't have that user journey mapped out and they don't actually know what their call to action should be. They just copy everyone else online, but it doesn't actually make any sense for their business because this has to be unique to you. This has to be unique to your own user journey. And this has to be unique to your goal of what what you're trying to do with your leads. Now, the key here is to make this easy for every single lead. Once you have their attention, move fast. You don't wanna wait two weeks for a sales call, for example. On our website, it's book a call. We're asking them to book in for a, we've given them all this information. They can either book a call or they don't. And then what happens is we then step in, we educate those leads inside of the school community with our emails, with more content. 
and our call to action is always book a call so that is the place where we want every single lead to go to so you need to decide you know are you offering something for 500 dollars where they could just go and buy it right away you don't need to book in a call for that so your cta all of the time should be buy now buy now buy now for us, it's book a call. We, got, we want to get on a call with these leads to see if we're a good fit because it is much higher ticket what we're doing. And again, when we're trying to promote our school community, we're not asking them to book a call so we can sell them into the school community. It's free, so we're just telling them to join here. So your CTAs need to be congruent. They need to make sense and they need to be consistent. But this all happens once you have your user journeys laid out and mapped out properly. Now, the fifth step in this system is selling your leads. And like I said, we're not going on the black market here and selling poor Jane Smith's email to some Ugandan bank. What we're doing is making sure that when we're actually selling to these leads, our pricing actually makes sense. Now, this is something that I see so many people overlooking because it's actually pretty hard to do now you either have a low ticket offer or you have a high ticket offer so for example an agency owner might be charging 1200 us dollars per month they offer ai automations landing page builds and ai content writing now this is pretty common i see a lot of people going down to that low ticket route and this is kind of a trap because what ends up happening is you might land 10 clients you're making 12 grand per month but you've now got 10 clients to manage. You've got no time to now go out there and market and you're capped. Essentially, you can't go past that point. So it's this like negative death loop of constantly trying to sign new clients because you're not charging enough in the first place. So my preference is always go in high ticket. So what is the ideal situation? Well, if you're an agency owner, we wanna be charging $5,000 per month. And the only way we can do that is if we understand our target avatar, we understand the pain that they have and then we tie these solutions, these AI automations, these landing page builds, and these, this AI content writing system that we have towards that avatar of client. We become an expert and we're focused on only working with those businesses that can actually afford to pay us. A lot of people will try working with businesses that have no money in the first place and be super tight on budget. We don't wanna do that. We wanna create content for people that actually have a budget that can actually afford to pay for our solutions. And if they can't afford it, we don't want to work with them. So we can do this. We can charge $5,000 per month because we're now working with the right type of client. And that means we only have to work with four clients and we are now making $20,000 per month. We've only got four clients to manage. We've got a budget to hire in a team now because we're actually making way more money. And we have room to focus on the 10X tasks like going out there and creating content, educating leads, driving new traffic, through our landing pages and ultimately scaling our business. And you can't do that if you're working with a ton of clients on a low ticket retainer, for example. But like I said, your pricing can only increase when you do understand your target avatar. And the way that we position our pricing at our agency is we price 10% of the earnings that our service is going to generate our client in one year. Now, this is obviously a, a lot of guesswork, but if we know that we are working with clients that are making twenty to $50,000 every single month, and we know that the solutions that we build them and the services that we provide can add you know, an extra couple of hundred thousand every single year, as well as save them a ton of time, which is also worth a lot of money, then we can work out our pricing based on that calculation. So let's say, for example, my clients make one hundred and fifty to $200,000 per year using my services on top of what they're already earning, then my price is gonna be $15,000 as a setup plus an optional management ongoing. What this allows us to do is we can now work with less clients and make way more money. So if you're sat there watching YouTube videos, people tend to go out there and sell services for like $500, ignore them. They don't know what they're on about. Go high ticket, nail down your offer, become an expert in that field. And I promise you, when you finally meet me in person one day, we will shake hands and you will thank me for it. Now, that is the complete system. There's five steps there. Go and watch this video over and over and over again. It is pretty high level. I understand we haven't really dug into like the building out of every single section. But if you do want more information on these individual parts, let me know down below in the comments and I can definitely do that and make more videos. But our goal here using this system is to build a business that you can actually scale that doesn't consume your time. Generating leads and managing your leads can all be done in a very smart way using different automations especially with ai these days too so we need to be focusing on the 10x tasks we need to be focusing on the tasks that drive our business forward not working in the weeds speaking to unqualified leads and wasting our time on sales calls so if we look at our funnel as a whole we generate attention we then capture leads we then qualify those leads we educate those leads and we close those leads now only some of these tasks are actually 10x tasks Generating attention, that's a 10x task. Creating content like this YouTube video for me is a 10x task. Closing deals, that's a 10x task. These are tasks that are getting us paid. They're ensuring that our business is growing and we're not stagnating. But although all of these parts in the middle are important, they can all be automated. 
So us spending time on them and manually working on them isn't 10x in our time, is it? So if we can automate these processes, let's do that. That's then gonna allow us to then refocus and allocate our time on the stuff that's actually gonna pay us and make us money. So look, if you did find value in this video, like the video. Join the free school community down below as well and let me know what you think of this video. Now, this school community is filled with so much resources. It should be illegal. You are literally gonna be able to learn for free. I don't have a course to sell you. If you're just getting started out, there's literally no products for me to sell you. So it's completely free, no catches. Go and join down below. We will be shutting it off very, very soon. So now it's for free. Anyone can join. So go and check it out. And if you did want to learn about the growth system that's made me $5 million in the last five years, then click the big picture in the middle of the screen right now and it's going to take you to that video. But that's it for me. See you later.